from Complex, where does winning this MVP rank amongst some of the other hardware that you've won uh, in your career? It's all sweet to me. I mean, uh, it's hard to rank. You know, everything is special. Uh, but it's cool to uh, be out there with some of the best players that ever played a game and um, to win an MVP in front of my family and friends is uh, pretty sweet. So I just try to keep racking them up, I guess. Next question here in the center. Uh, Kari Jones, Quincy Sport. Uh, what do you think about the young up, up and coming up and coming talent in the NBA? I think the NBA is in a great is in great hands. You know, so many uh, young players who, you know, made it to this point so early in their careers, and that's pretty rare. You know, you got Ben Simmons in his second year. You got, you know, guys like D'Angelo Russell and Carl Anthony Towns, the young players who are still early 20s. You know, so the league is in great hands. It's a, it's a joy to get to know these guys on another level and also play against them. Uh, Dan's next towards the center. <clears throat> Dan Feldman, NBC Sports. Being at a different point in your career, in your life, uh, how does this award compare to when you won it in 2012 for you? I mean, obviously the first time is always sweet, you know, sweeter, I guess. Um, you know, you're not, I didn't come in any of these games expecting to do anything. It just kind of happened. And so the first time was uh, was cool. And that's how, I, you know, in 2012, I started to feel like I, I started to hit that elite level. So. You know, it was all that stuff in one year was pretty exciting to me. But uh, as a veteran now, coming back, winning another MVP is, is cool to put it to the trophy case. Front row on your left. As a kid watching the All Star, what was your all time favorite moment? Um, the game in 2001 in DC. Uh, I can remember my mom and my brother, we riding in the car listening to it on the radio when uh, Stefan Marbury and AI came back from, I guess, 20 points down and won the game. So. Uh, I remember that whole weekend, you know, so much excitement around D.C. Over here. Uh, Katie, what did it mean to you to kind of see Dirk and, and Dwayne do what they were doing tonight and get those jerseys? Man, those guys look good to be uh, to be in the league for so long and, you know, still playing at a high level D. Wade. I was telling a couple guys, feel like he can play a few more years and Dirk to play 21 years in the NBA is, you know, it's just uh, it's ridiculous, you know, so. You know, for them to be honored tonight was uh, was cool to be a part of. All the way back to center. <laughs> Katie, you, you know, you guys kind of, through the first three quarters, it's up and down the court a lot. But how important was it for you to, to really finish strong and win this thing? Uh, we definitely talked about it before the game, you know. Um, and at halftime, we gave up, I guess, 88 points maybe. And Coach Malone said the record is 194. And we don't want to get that put on us. So I think guys just buckled down and, you know, wanted to win after a while. Over here on the left, right side. Kevin, how are you? Nabate Alice, Bill Brown, on Sports. Um, which one of your teammates uh, did you have, like, you felt like you had instant chemistry with on the court that you enjoyed playing with? Every one of them. I think um, every one of these guys, you know, you can relate to them on a different level. You know, a lot of these guys come from the same background and, you know, the same circumstances. So you relate to them on a different level, and all our skills match with each other. So, you know, you got guys that could play four positions out there. So, you know, you don't mind sitting in the corner waiting for the ball to come to you for a three. Um, you know, so you don't have really have to do too much when you're playing with so many great players. You can do what you, you just best at. Third row, fourth in. Hey, Kevin C. Reed from the Associated Press. What did you think of Giannis's effort tonight? And I uh, wonder if you could just speak to his future in the league, uh, being such a young player. I mean, he's, you know, you got to potential through the roof. I mean, he's still producing at an elite level, and it's scary to see how far he can keep going. You know, his game is still, you know, rounding out the shape. He's still getting better, but he's leading uh, top five, top three MVP candidates right now at 20. How old is he, 23? So, uh, you know, be that young and already at the top of the class as one of the elites in the game. Um, it's a joy to watch his progression. Uh, in the center? Last question right in the center. This microphone's right to you. Sandy Chandok with Yahoo Sports. KD, uh, there was a play where Clay hit a corner three and then kind of looked at Steph, and then Steph got him back with the an and one three. Being their teammates, what was your reaction to that? Uh, it was so fun to see. You know, those guys always, you know, joking around and seeing who can make the most shots. And, you know, their their chemistry together is, is second to none. So, you know, we know we're going to be talking about that play, those two plays for, for the next couple of days. You know, it was uh, – it was, it was good to see uh, 
Steph knocked that shot down over Clay because Clay always talking trash to him. So, uh, you know, those guys, you know, had a lot of fun tonight, and I'm looking forward to having even more fun in the second half of the season. Thank you, Kevin.